We're doing a vegetable and monkfish coconut curry. So basically we're just going to fry off the monkfish. You can hear the fish now as I'm putting it in my pan. You want that searing, searing sound. You just want to seal in that, the, all those natural juices. It will start to relax and it will start to release a little tiny bit of liquid that we're going to retain and add later and then build up the curry flavours with onion, garlic, chilli. So while I'm chopping this up, I put my saucepan on. We're heating the oil. In a cooler saucepan, you can hear now the heat isn't as fierce as it was when I did the monkfish. This is a really nice rustic curry. You can hear the onions cooking away. This is raw sweet potato. Let's put a lid on it and leave it for about two minutes. Baby corn cobs, which again, we're just going to cut lengthways. Just add a little tiny bit of stock, just to help create a steam to cook those, those vegetables that you've just put in. Our, our sweet potato has gone a little tender. Our cauliflower has gone a little tender. We're now going to add our coconut milk. This is obviously gonna be the base of your sauce. We can add about three teaspoons of harissa. You really want to still have that fish coming through with the fl other flavors that are in the, in the curry. Now we need to just increase the heat, stir in our ingredients, to create that lovely sauce. So it all starts coming together. So we're reducing the sauce a little bit. A nice rapid boil at this stage. Let, uh, check the potato. This will only take around about another five minutes to cook. And with that, the cauliflower will be cooked. So we need to put in the more tender vegetables. That will go into the bowl. We've taken our baby corn cobs and these will actually cook now very, very simply. You still want the, the sweet corn and the pop joy to actually be really nice and crisp. This we need, we want that all in our curry. We're going to put our monkfish back in. We've just seared that off just to retain all those beautiful juices. Cook that for two minutes and we're ready to serve. So we've got the nice vegetables, we keep all those lovely colours, and we've got nice chunks of monkfish going through it. A Cornish sustainable fish has actually seen a, a growth in numbers and has become a major asset to the Cornish fleet. There's our curry, finished with a few simple coriander leaves. And that's my Thai style coconut curry with monkfish vegetables and a coconut and pistachio rice. It really is um, a very simple dish that takes around 15 minutes from start to finish.